<laughs> Let's get something good. The old fashioned Mario music. Bomberman Max Blue Champion. Well then, your request right off the bat. Fatical. Don't know who they are aside from publishers, I guess. In the infinitely expanding universe, there are five stars at the farthest edge. Um, no, those are planets. These are most definitely planets, not stars. Really now? Those are still planets game. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> well then, it's a nice setup for a game. We were dealing with Kara bombs, or Chera bombs, or whichever way you pronounce that. I did not realize we were diving into the world of the Kara Bombs. Well then, I guess we're going to fix everything by blowing most of it up. Oh man, Max Blue Champion. Okay. Yeah, this is around the start of when you can see one of the Kara bombs spazzing out in the ship there. So we're not gonna deal. Well then. So, it would seem that we cannot play Battle Game single player. That's. Really disappointing, but I guess this is more a quest driven Bomberman game than it is. I probably should have listened to him, but it's Bomberman. We kind of know everything we need to know already. We go around, we make tick a booms, and the little enemies go die. Oh, total miss. Okay, so first priority then should be finding more bombs, and bigger explosions. Like so. And hopefully it will not run into the snag of the earliest Power Man games. Hey, 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 hey! And it does not. Excellent. So we are good to go. We're gonna find some large number of items for stage. We got enemies to kill. We got a speed up already. That makes me happy. Now we can trap enemies and go even faster. Excellent! Oop, <laughs> too fast for my own good. Hey, <laughs> hey, too far. So then. Alright, right off the bat, and we are already doing pretty damned awesome. Gotta find out, does it follow tradition? <laughs> yes, it. Terror bomb. Okay, no, it does not. That's what we are supposed to do. We are supposed to blow up the box and free the Kara Bomb. Because I guess that is the thing to do. Okay, um... Identical. In these early stages, the time limit is going to be quite generous. Imagine it will be, you know, all the quarries. Yeah, well. <laughs> hmm. Alright, your first stage with a bit of a unique <laughs> what's it? In that there is an overhead here that was often used in some of the earlier games. Well, at least like starting around. Genesis or thereabouts. 
Oh. No, don't want to pick up the wooden sandal if old things hold true. That would be the uh, slowdown item. <laughs> I guess that's okay. I don't really mind really much. We'll get more speed ups as we go. Ooh, sword. So, assuming this is in the same vein as Bomberman Tournament, the sword and the shield we got in the last stage would be going to our Karabomb and not to ourselves. Okay, so, yes, cannot lay bombs under the overhead thing there. It's okay, though. Don't really need to. Come on. Into a corner with you. There we go. Not that it much matters, because those are not our target. These guys are, and there are a lot of them left. Well, yes we can, it's just that, you know, kind of fail at being out of the way ourselves. Hopefully we can get a nice remote bomb sometime soon, that would be lovely. Oh, hey there, Mr. Bear. Er, rather, four. Alright. I guess so far so good. Woohoo! Yes! That would be an item which allows me to double tap the A button and lay out all my bombs at once. I've never found a good solid use for that, but. It can be fun in multiplayer battles when you have, you know, eight bombs each and you both have that ability. Okay, power up for the Karabomb. Kind of wonder if this will have a similar, you know, thing with... Ooh, now what's this? Some kind of... Oh, that would go back. Okay. That would not really be the one to go with. Nothing new there. No, oh, it's easy enough. I was gonna say, really easy if it's all on a single screen, but then no, it goes on further. Hmm, let's not back ourselves into a corner with the fire bead, the yeah, breathing dragon. Ooh, and he's a two-hitter. I knew we'd encounter those eventually. And yes, I know I killed the uh, speed up, but again, there will be far <laughs> more of them. Case in point. And yeah, now we are one item away from being completely untouchable, save states or no. All we need is that remote bomb, and we are golden. Now that we have the wall walkthrough, we can basically not be stopped by anything. Except when I run into enemies, but you know. Hmm. Okay, so they are invulnerable while they are preparing to breathe fire. Good to note. Yeah, the party edition was not all that dissimilar from basically every other version of Bomberman. Uh, party edition being the one on PlayStation, and yeah, it was very much a basic Bomberman type game. I'm not even gonna worry about killing the rest of these dragons. <laughs> Not worth it. What else we got? Forward and backwards. I don't honestly know why you would want the, um, 
warp backwards. So we have um unusual types of sort of objectives, I guess it would be, in this game. It's going more for variety than for anything else really. Which is a bit of a nice touch, you know. One thing is for certain, the Bomberman series could indeed use some variety. Just wish that this had the, um, you know, single player, multiplayer, which that's existed going back to Bomberman 2 on the NES. Should be a basic thing included in all of the Bombermans. That is a good point. You could, uh... Yes, we do still need bomb walkthrough, I guess, before we are entirely invulnerable. But, uh, yeah, you could indeed use the warps backwards without paying attention to me. Right, third time's charm. You could indeed use the warps to go backwards and pick up more power-ups and more of the, uh, Terra Bomb powers. Yeah, anyway, we know there's multiple exits in each level. There's been one going backwards and one going forwards in each stage so far. And I don't know about Bomberman Jetters. I've never played Bomberman Jetters. Just did not really seem like that good of a Bomberman game to me. Played the hell out of most of the. Well. No, I've, I think I've beaten all of the Bomberman games on NES and Super NES. Uh, Mega Bomberman on Genesis. Uh, Bomberman Tournament on the Game Boy Advance. I'm looking forward to getting that one on Lexi eventually. That is a rather fun little uh, Bomberman game with the whole Bomberman Pokemon aspect of it going on, even if it is more of a rock-paper-scissors battle style. Oh, yes, um, the first Bomberman on Game Boy Advance, which they, you know, edited for the American version to make it include Wario, and called it Wario Blast. And what was the other one? Um, I think it's Bomberman Quest, or Bomberman Pocket, or something. I forget if it's on Game Boy or Game Boy Color, but... It's a side-scrolling Bomberman where you, uh, can jump vertically. Hmm, is that the one? Okay, just to check, let's confirm the whole... This one here, which goes back to 104. And yeah, those would be the only two exits. We will... Go to 114, apparently. So, yeah, I guess that's a thing. I guess I should go ahead and... Is that the bomb? Hmm. Oh, I think that... Huh? Oh. Uh-huh. For a second there, I thought that was the remote bomb, but no. No such luck. We are in a very different kind of area with rather different enemies now. And one of these times I will probably save my save state my way into, you know, being hit by that falling lava or something along those lines, but we'll see what happens. That's why backup saves exist. Ah, that would indeed be the thing. Okay, so now we have bomb throw. Good to know. Looks like we're at max speed already. 
Oh, 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 oh. Don't we have, um, invincibility, fireproof vest, but it's looking like it's going to be temporary, which is always a shame. really wouldn't say that, Eps. <laughs> I mean, while it's true that we only got, I think, like, one or two of the, uh, games on the Super Nintendo when there were five of them released on the SNES in Japan, that's really about the last of it. We got, basically, almost every single other Bomberman game that was released. At least, like, 75% of them, give or take. I mm, already got that. So, you know, you're thinking, which I don't know exactly what you're basing that thinking on, it just seems to be you making an assumption and, you know, assuming that assumption is now true. Not really the reality. Okay, so we found the hidden tile, which we really we Hey hey, bomb kick! We could have just walked here and ignored Hmm. Start remote control input. Turn the remote control to the game what? No. Anyways, I don't know what that is all about. I guess wall walkthrough is one of the temporary items, the ones that don't actually go on from level to level. Let's test things. We cannot throw bombs. We cannot lay out all the bombs anymore. That really frickin' sucks, man! Ooh hoo hoo hoo! Welly welly well, look at there! Remote bombs! That is. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> that is just sweet. Come here, Mr. Boar. We're gonna leave you up in the corner there, and we're gonna scurry along. Can't leave anything unturned, just in case so that we get our Carabomb all the way powered up. Okay, now we have multiple exits. 107... 114... 110. Mm -hmm. I'm sticking with 110. And goddammit! Remote bomb! For one stage only! How do you design a bomber band game like that? The entire idea is getting things that don't go away. Like, Fireproof vest is the only thing that's supposed to be temporary. Everything else is permanent. That's the entire idea behind it. So you can, like, become a bomber god and just stroll through each level almost untouchable, slaughtering everything. I'm pretty sure that the Carabombs are going to be, you know, a thing that'll be used only at certain points. Okay, we got the one that looks like a little uh, hermit crab, and it's been so freaking long since I've played Bomberman Tournament, 
but I only remember the names of a few, and I don't remember him being called Shell. So I'm pretty sure they changed his name by the time the, um, Bomberman tournament came around. So now, we're gonna stick with Pommy. Yeah, so... 16... 8... I guess those are Karabomb foods. So sure, we will gather all the foods. And by that I mean we will be murdered by Balloon. So now knowing that, um, you know, power-ups don't stay with you outside of the main things of, you know, bomb numbers, explosion range, and the, uh, walking speed one. It's just really disappointing and makes me not want to play this all the way through. into the lava, just like I said. You say that, Alu, but we still don't even know what the Karabombs do, or how one makes use of them. I figured it would be like in Bomberman Tournament, where, you know, there would be special times in-game where they would battle each other, or do something. So then giving me time... Well, I was gonna say I would've figured we would be, like, here for quite some time, but now I see that there are far more than the eight that we were required to get, so... And yeah, bombing the exit does not cause anything to appear. Breaking with tradition. Uh, just... There's some things that seem like they should be kept in. Like me safe stating into a death. Awesome. 